Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I want to talk about something called a WooCommerce application password. So what is an application password? It's not just for WooCommerce, but any WordPress feature, you can have an application password. It's associated with user. And what you can do is create one or more passwords and give them out to other services that connect to your website and have granular you can have something I can't say granularity in who can access your website using your user so what do I mean by that so take an example I need to pass orders from my WooCommerce store to my accountancy software I could set up an application password against my user that allows that accountancy software to log into Word into WooCommerce grab the orders and put them into my accounting software. I could have a second application password that connects to my CRM, for example. Again, it would go to my orders, grab the username, email address, uh, physical shipping address, and put those into my customer relationship management tool. We grant a second password to that, and it means one or more external applications can access my site using passwords that aren't the same as my normal login. So I might log in with ABC123, but I'll make my accountancy software log in with 123ABC, have my CRM log in with XYZ123. You get the idea. Let's jump over to my profile and I'll show you what application passwords look like. This is my user scrolling down. We have this section here. We've got this button, add new application password. So let's say we're going to connect to um, accounting software. And we add a new application password. So I'm going to revoke this password so I don't think you can get access to it. So you'll only be shown this password once, so please remember to copy it. And then what we have is we have a login we can log in and get to my username and password with this password and get access to my site. We can then add some granularity on top of that. So I might want to control what that password has access to. So I could change the role. So this is my user at the minute and the role's admin, but perhaps we could, where are the roles? Sorry, let me just create a new user. That'll be easier to demonstrate this. So perhaps we want to interact with our application as a shop manager role. They have less permissions on my site than an administrator, which is good. So you can limit what this application password can do by changing the role of the user that has the application password. You get the idea. So let's see an application password in action. So what we've got here is, I'm accessing the REST API of my WooCommerce store and I'm trying to look up order number 20172. Click send. Now that's a protected endpoint. You need to be logged in to uh, access that. So if I go to authorization, let's set it to author, basic auth. Let's set my username and let's paste in that application password that we've just created. Click send and it gets that order. What I can then do, if I go back to my profile, is I can revoke that password. So let's click on revoke. And I click on send again. We no longer have access using that username and password. So you get the idea, we can grant access and revoke it, but we don't need to reset our main user password. So I can log in as ABC, but that accountancy software can no longer access my site using that application password. So in my next video, I'm gonna talk about the REST API consumer keys, which is very, very similar. So we've got two ways we can get access to information, REST API keys or using these application passwords.
If you need help with your WooCom store, please get in touch. Go to neilmatthews.com, click on the work with me button, request a quote and I'll happily send you a no obligation quote to fix that annoying issue on your WooCommerce store.